you know, congratulations on the win, the bonus, and a great fight. Thank um, you so much. How are you feeling about your performance and your opponent? I feel good. I think I did a good performance. I did what I have to do. About my opponent, I, I knew he was a tough kid, like I said before. He's a tough kid. He's a de debut. He don't have nothing to lose. He came. He surprised me with, the, with his range. have a long arms. Uh, so I have to make a couple of exchanges during the fight. But all good. We, we win. And this is all a matter. Was he tougher than you thought, or was it about what you expected? No, I, I always expect uh, the fighters to be tough because this is what we do. Uh, they train to be tough, to be to be to be good, like he was good. So nothing surprised to me, you know. Uh, the kid was really tough. I dropped him many times. He didn't he didn't break. So congratulations to him too. After the fight, you made it clear that you would like to fight Kai Kara Franz. Um, you also used a word uh, about his teammates that perhaps was a little bit regretful. Pardon? Do you, uh, you used a homophobic slur in your post-fight uh, interview. Uh. Dana White said you were sorry for this. I wanted to confirm that you are apologetic. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. He's emotional, you know. During the fight, during the interview, we are all emotions. We say things that uh, we don't want to say, but... Mm. Or who feel uh, who feel bad about that? I apologize. Why is the fight with Kai Karafran something you want so bad, and what is it about him that you seem to dislike so much? Uh, was in that moment was uh, the fight what I want? I I really training hard for for fight Kai Karafran, and. Um, that's the, the, the fight that put me uh, in a good spot in the division. And that uh, a win in this, uh, in this night was supposed to be to fight to the next for the title. And um, like I say, I just believe that they are a little bit hypocrisy because they team say that they have to go in through injuries, you know, they have to fight. Mm, there was talk about Drico, about. Israel the same, he didn't fight because of injuries. And what happened to, to Kaikara? We didn't know really what happened, you know? So this is my question to him, you know? How do you think that fight goes? It's going very well, you know? Uh, we see he's, he's, he was not 100% uh, sure to fight me because I have an injury, a lot of injury in this fight camp. Even two, one week ago, one week ago in my cut weight, I have a big, big injury. I have a big injury. I didn't pull out of the fight. Just for you guys know, I have a big injury. I didn't pull up. I just stopped three days to relax and uh, I keep going. Is, is the injury something you'll have to have surgery on or is it just recovery? Uh, I have to check because I have to do uh, a race shoes. If something broke, I'm not gonna say what is the part, but I just gonna tell you, I have a, a big, big injury, and uh, like you guys see, normal I move a lot in fights. I didn't move a lot. I was more concerned about my injury and not to get exposed. So, uh, but I go into injury. This is the mentality of the, ch the champ, you know. I'm not gonna waste the time of anyone, and I'm not gonna waste my time. Staying with with Kai, uh, he fought for the interim title not too long ago, and he headlined his last card. Do you think, given the heat between you and Kai, that you could make this a main event of a fight night, and you two would fight for five rounds instead of three? Definitely not a fight night. Definitely a pay-per-view. Sure. sure. Uh, and then the last one for me uh, on this fight specifically uh, is that is this the type of fight that you enjoy? Like Felipe seemed. Uh, I know you were injured, but he was in there. He was throwing a lot of exciting, dynamic strikes. He was throwing spinning back elbows. He was going for submissions and everything. Is this the type of fight that you enjoy in there? Uh, I've been having an easy fight in UFC, you know? All my fight was, like, easily. I feel, I didn't feel like the, I'm going to, uh, I was in war. I didn't feel hurt. I didn't feel anything, you know? When I say that the ranking is just a number, it's just a number. This kid just proved that he was more tough than anyone I fight here in UFC, you know. And uh, I feel more in trouble with this kid than any other fighters that I fight, you know. So 
uh, I love the f kind of fight. I like to feel that I'm hurt, I'm going home, I'm going to take care of myself, you know. So I really enjoy it. Actually, one more for me. Uh, you and Israel obviously had that exchange on stage at the press conference. I'm curious, did you watch his fight against Sean Strickland, and what did you think of it? You know, karma is a bitch, you know, because he told last time in the last press conference to Strickland, if he pay attention on Alex, Alex Pereira, you know, I told him, hey, pay attention on your guy, you know, your business is against uh, Strickland. And he was so focused uh, on me, then focused on Strickland. Look what happened. Like I say, karma is a bitch. Congratulations to Strickland. We go home with two victories.